Officials fearing our troops in the Middle East are facing a significant escalation in threats. This after an Iranian-backed proxy fired missiles toward one of our warships off the coast of Yemen. Fox News' Jennifer Griffin has the latest from the Pentagon. Jennifer. Charles, it's interesting to note that a Japanese Navy destroyer assisted the USS Mason Sunday with the interdiction that saved the Israeli tanker and its crew. Three Chinese Navy warships, however, were also in the area, but did not render assistance to the 59 distress calls, I'm told. Just two hours after rescuing the Israeli tanker from five armed hijackers off the coast of Yemen, the USS Mason tracked two ballistic missiles fired by Houthi forces toward the U.S. Navy destroyer. Both missiles splashed down 10 nautical miles from the U.S. warship in the Gulf of Aden. But U.S. military sources say the Houthi threat to U.S. Navy vessels continues to escalate. On Sunday, five armed gunmen seized the MV Central Park, a tanker carrying uh, phosphoric acid. After boarding from a skiff, the pirates pulled up alongside the tanker, which I'm told had a low freeboard, which gave the hijackers easy access. Initial indications show the five individuals were Somali, but it's not clear who sent them. The crew had locked themselves in the Citadel safe room. The gunmen tried to beat down the door to the safe room and then exited the ship and were making their way back to the shores of Yemen. U.S. Navy personnel fired warning shots and pursued and arrested them as a U.S. helicopter gunship flew cover. The hijackers are being held on the USS Mason, being questioned by the U.S. military under counter-piracy authorities. Uh, in 2016, the USS Mason also found itself in a similar situation off the coast of Yemen and fired an SM-2 missile to defend itself against Houthi cruise missiles. It was the first time a U.S. warship had fired an SM-2 missile in combat. On Sunday, the USS Eisenhower passed through the Strait of Hormuz. National Security Coordinator John Kirby said air the aircraft carrier strike group was there to deliver a message targeted at any actor in the region, nation state or otherwise, that might have uh, considerations of widening this conflict. The Houthis don't seem to be getting the message, Charles. Let you go. On that note, uh, there, you know, obviously we, we show strength, we, we, we go there and we, we, our presence is felt. There's an aura about America's presence. By the same token, though, it feels like these es these are escalating. I, I think 74 uh, actions have been taken against American troops. At what point do we become alarmed, or do we just stay on the defensive and try to swat these away? Well, it's interesting, Charles, because I was just looking back at the timeline for the number of attacks that the U.S. Navy has either uh, fielded or intercepted or not responded to uh, from the Houthis in the last uh, two to three weeks. If you go back to November 8th, remember, uh, the Houthis shot down a $32 million MQ-9 Reaper drone. There has been no response from the U.S. military to the Houthis firing on that drone. Then the Houthis fired a drone at the USS Thomas Hudner. The Hudner was a allowed, of course, to in self-defense to fire a missile, and it struck down that drone. Uh, but the amount of the number of missiles coming out of Yemen toward either a lot in Israel or targeting ships, and now we have these hijackers that were making their way to the Yemeni shores after trying to take that Israeli tanker, uh, the threats are mounting. And what is a bit baffling to many who know this region is why the U.S. military uh, with has not been given the authorities from the White House uh, to uh, to fire back and to strike in Yemen. They have fired back a few times in Iraq and Syria, mm -hmm. uh, but it's been few and far between from those 74 uh, attacks that we've, we've documented of rockets and drones that are constantly, almost nightly, targeting uh, U.S. troops that are at those, those outposts and bases in Syria and Iraq. Wow. Charles? Jennifer Griffin at the, at the Pentagon, rather. Thank you so much. Always appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.